Hi everyone, Ben from PH Tennis here, and today I have a tip to help you play in the wind. It is October, November now even, and uh, if you're playing tennis in the UK especially, the weather is going to deteriorate quite a lot now, and we are going to be playing in some less favourable conditions. The question we get asked all the time is what do you need to do when it is windy? Now, before we get into that, we need to just talk about the Magnus effect. Now, the Magnus effect is what happens when an object spins. So as an object spins, the airflow around the object changes, and that's what causes the changes in the trajectory in the ball flight. Now, when the wind is blowing towards the ball, so if you're playing tennis into a headwind, that effect is amplified. So any spin you put on the ball is going to be exaggerated. You're going to get more. So if you're playing with topspin, the ball is going to drop shorter and steeper. If you're playing with slice, it is going to stay even lower and cut even more. So we have to take into consideration what this means for our actual game. Likewise, when the wind is behind you, you get less spin. The, the Magnus effect is reduced because there's less air flowing over the ball or past the ball. Therefore, if you're hitting into the wind, playing with lots of topspin might become a bit of a problem. That ball that you would normally land a couple of feet from the baseline might now start landing a little bit shorter. What do we do? Maybe we use more slice, more drop shots, even easier in the wind because it's going to stop you from overplaying them a little bit. And the main advantage and the main trick and something that I'd known anecdotally for years but have only figured out recently the science behind it is the slice serve. Slice serves into the wind are so much more effective. If you've got the wind in your face, stand a little bit deeper, try and take that ball on the peak, hammer it through, your spin will be less effective but use your slice serves wisely. Conversely, if the wind is behind you, the ball will likely be dropping towards your feet, you'll be standing a little bit closer and you're going to get less spin on the ball. So be careful, put even more on than you normally would and that should keep your ball in the court. There you go, never miss a ball when playing in the wind ever again, just remember the Magnus effect.